I'm about to get four teeth out of my extractions. I am so fucking nervous. So we will see what happens. I don't know what to expect. I've never even gotten my wisdom teeth out, so I'm scared. But it's all good. So let's go get these taken out. I'm so scared still. I'm literally like holding on to the car like please no 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 <laughs> I sound so dramatic I've literally had you know my tongue pierced I've gotten a boob job I have gotten piercings and I'm scared to get my teeth taken out and they're charging $900 to get my teeth taken out like bro I have to pay to be in pain what just kidding obviously it's understandable like they're doing their job they need to get paid but you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying like i'm scared i'm just nervous because i've i've never even gotten my wisdom teeth taken out and i'm just scared as i'm like pain wise oh okay let's just go so you guys can watch me suffer Here. And then it's kind of finicky, it likes to spit hard little, so you can lay it on your chest or hold it up, whatever works best. Great. Have you ever been numb, ever been numb before? Oh, I don't think so. No? Okay, it's a pretty weird feeling. Um, so, we're going to give you a little bit of Novocaine around each tooth that we're going to take out. That is a shot. Um, or use some numbing gel first, that's gonna help, and then it's just a little pinch in those areas. Once we do that, those areas are gonna feel kind of puffy and tingly, and, and that's good. That's what we want to feel like. That means it's getting numb, and then so when we go to take the tooth out, it's just gonna be a real slow back and forth movements, and then it's just gonna slowly loosen up, loosen up, and then it's just gonna come out. So as we're doing that, as long as you're playing numb, you're gonna feel a little pushing and pulling, and there's gonna be pressure in the area. You shouldn't be feeling any like sharp pain or anything like that. So high, I'm hypnotized 
You want us to put them in a little bag for you and you can take them home, you can maybe check them out later or should we just get rid of them? I don't need them. You don't need them? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Sounds good. But and that's what helps that area heal, okay? Mm -hmm. So the gauze is stopping the bleeding, starting that blood clot. So I'm gonna have you stay biting on that for about 10 to 15 minutes. Right now it's 1.45, so two o'clock. Take it out, those pieces of gauze are gonna be a little bit bloody and that's normal. Just take it, throw those away. Okay. If when you take them out, they're not bleeding at all, it's not kind of running out of those areas, you, if you look in there, you'll see it's blood. But as long as it's not like running out of them, you're fine. You can leave the gauze out, okay? If it's kind of seeping a little bit of blood or if it's kind of running out of there, we got a pack of extra gauze here for you. All I want you to do is fold it up, get it a little bit wet, put it in that area and just bite on it, just like you're doing now. And it's just put pressure on that area. And then as far as uh, pain, discomfort, you know, anytime you take it to that, you're gonna have some discomfort, okay? So right now, those areas are still numb. It's probably gonna be numb for another two to three hours or so. So what I recommend is that while you're still numb, can you take ibuprofen at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. Once the gauze comes out, I would take some ibuprofen, uh, about 600 milligrams. So ibuprofen would be good right away. That way, once the novocaine starts going away, you have ibuprofen in your system to kind of transition you uh, to make sure that it's not too much discomfort. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can continue to take that ibuprofen roughly four times a day. Usually the pain, you know, first two days, it kind of creeps up a little bit. Day two, day three is about the max and then it starts getting better for you. These come out pretty easy. So I really don't expect you to have a whole lot of pain, but I expect to have stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. If for some reason the ibuprofen is just not helping and it's, you're having a lot more pain than that, you can do the ibuprofen and Tylenol together. Okay, the combination of those two together can be even more effective as far as keeping pain away. Okay, and then as far as you know, eating and drinking goes, liquids you can have pretty much any liquid you want right away. A couple caution: uh, stay away from really hot temperature liquids. So like coffee or tea, uh, you can have it. Just let it cool down so it's not really hot temperature. Uh, and then alcohol as well. You're gonna to wanna to stay away from alcohol for the first three, four, five days while it's healing. Alcohol can dissolve the blood clot that's trying to form in there and make it come out. So stay away from alcohol the first few days, okay? And then as far as foods go, a little bit softer diet, those areas that are healing in there, they're gonna be pretty raw for you know a good three days, four days, up to a week. So if you are eating like chips or something and it gets crushed up and jams down in there, it's gonna be pretty sore, okay? So softer foods kind of helps prevent that. Um, otherwise, there's really no restrictions as far as eating goes. Just try to stick to a little bit softer diet until things start getting more comfortable for you. Um, one other thing you wanna avoid is drinking through straws. Kinda of sounds funny, but when you drink through a straw, it creates a lot of pressure in your mouth and it can pull those blood clots out of there from okay. form. So try to stay away from straws for the first few days, okay? I did it. So it's about four, four. I can't talk right because I know my lips are still like not not a little bit. <laughs> okay, it's four p. It's four p. I right now. Um, I feel um, I feel um, <laughs> I can't talk. I feel way like I feel fine right now. Uh. There, my lips and mouth is finally starting to feel like less numb, which is amazing because it's so annoying that not being able to feel my mouth, especially when I want to like rinse out my mouth and stuff. Like it's annoying not being able to heal it. Uh, but <laughs> I can't stop laughing because I I, feel, I sound so funny. But I'm okay, I'm okay, and that's all that matters. So my appointment ended like at 1.45 
at 1.45 p.m. So it's about two hours later. My mouth was hella bleeding. I you know my teeth, obviously, they were hella bleeding for like the longest time ever. I think like a whole hour or hour and a half. So that was annoying AF because I had to constantly, like the taste is gross. And then I just had to constantly clean myself and not being able to heal my mouth was making it even more harder. But, but pain wise, pain wise, no pain, no pain at all. So that's awesome. My dentist actually told me to take ibuprofen as soon as I got home at 2, 2 p.m. 15 minutes after my appointment, but I had not needed it at all. Like, no pain whatsoever, just uncomfortableness. I can't wait till the annoying goes away 100%. But I'm just happy that I'm not leaving anymore because now I don't need those cotton things, the gauges or whatever, in my mouth, which are like hella uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm happy as fuck now that I'm not leaving as of, as of right now. All right, it is now about to be 6 p.m. and I can finally feel my whole lips and feel like I talk normal and everything. I can even go like that, which I felt like I couldn't even like go like that before. <laughs> so I'm happy, I'm doing amazing. I have no pain, I have taken no ibuprofen at all. I was going to take it at 2 p.m., which was 15 minutes when, after my appointment was done because that's what my doctor dentist told me to do. Um, just so that I wouldn't feel the pain later on. But because my nut, my my face was, or not my face, my mouth was so numb, I did not even feel like I could take it because I don't know how to swallow pills. Yeah, I know. I'm a grown ass adult who doesn't know how to swallow pills. I don't care. It's apparently a common thing with a lot of people. Like I'm not the only one. So it makes me feel better, but yeah. So I was like, there's no way I can chew up this little thing and drink water when I felt like I couldn't even like fully spit because I was like like I couldn't feel anything it was numb you know my my mouth was numb but yeah thankfully I've had no pain taken no ibuprofen and yeah I'm happy like when they put a needle to numb me it was on each side you know for each teeth and stuff it, it was really not painful at all the whole process like you'll be okay I feel like it was more annoying having to deal with a numb mouth for hours than actually having to sit there at the office it honestly went by like that so yeah they also ended up giving me a five percent discount since i paid in cash which was amazing because i had no idea that paying in cash would give me a discount i just had the cash just to have the cash <laughs> but yeah i'm so happy about that because I, it was unexpected so yeah if you don't have insurance and you want to save a little bit of money definitely um pay with cash I would honestly just suggest you eat before your appointment. I woke up late, as always, so I could not eat. I have not eaten all day, and it's 6 p.m., so that sucks. But I, I think I'll be fine. Like, I'm going to be able to eat. I just have to figure out what I'm going to eat because they recommended soft foods, and I'm a crunchy type girl. Like, I like crunchy foods, so yeah. Don't mind my mess back there, by the way. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave a don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to. I will leave more of my braces vlogs right here. You can watch. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace out.